Hi guys, today I will show you how you can create backup to disk jobs uh, and creating uh, a disk uh, uh, storage device using Backup Exec 2012. Okay, Backup Exec 2012 with a brand new user interface some useful information here storage status, backup status, licensing and other things okay as you see here I have all my license that I need Active Directory, Exchange Server Agent SQL Server Agent this is a real backup server it, it, it is a it is not a, a test server as you see click on my computer I will use for my storage devices these two volumes one volume for my exchange mailboxes and uh, this volume for my users data uh, files ok I have a lot of space here I like this before uh, before creating a, a backup uh, jobs for a server uh, we must to create a storage device click on storage tab click configure storage I go on the disk based storage this storage give a name uh, users data click next select where you want to create this, this storage for my users data this volume users data G ok next finish and that's all remember that uh, only one uh, storage device per volume or, or per hard disk you can have let's create a new one for my exchange server disk based storage this storage change data ok this is the volume the F drive as you see here the G drive it is not on the list next finish ok I'm ready to create backup jobs ok backup and restore I select my file server if you want to add a, file, a, a, a new server please click this button here add a server next and so on ok this is my file server double click on it I have my file server screen click on this button backup to disk as you see it is uh, very easy to create backup jobs separate backup jobs for each server you want file server backup edit for selection I want from D only the users data data folder and system state folder ok here I can edit my schedules as you see I want a full backup 
schedule full backup every Sunday at 8 o'clock sorry sorry 8 o'clock starting on today in a few minutes from now okay I want differential backup at every day every day I want backup every day except Saturday at 8 o'clock oops sorry the same mistake 8 o'clock starting tomorrow choose the storage for my full user files user data storage the same for the differential backups retention policy keep this full backup for two weeks and this differential backups for one week I want to verify that's all that's all I want okay this is our schedules if you want to add another backup method it's very easy you see okay it is a very way to create a backup to disk folder jobs I have my full backup every Sunday at 8 o'clock with data retention for two weeks keep data media sets for two weeks and for my differential backups for one week every day starting tomorrow and my full backup uh, it will start in a few minutes from now let's go back as you see let's go back to our servers servers the same thing for my exchange server backup backup to disk change your name the name if you want exchange backup you see here some alerts jobs active jobs here okay edit my selection list I want to back up information store site uh, replication services and system state that's all okay schedule my job I want a full backup every Sunday every Sunday at 9 o'clock starting on today nothing else and I want differential backups at uh, uh, every every day except the Sunday that I have already a full backup S uh, starting on tomorrow Monday at uh, 9 o'clock okay which storage you want for my full backup I want exchange data storage device retention policy keep for two weeks uh, my media sets and my differential backup the same storage keep for one week verify my backups I like this nothing else and I'm ready to back up my exchange server as you see tonight 
I will have a full backup of my Exchange server, Formation Store, System State, <coughs> and go back to my server. I wait for a one minute for file server backup begins. Let's see now what happened. Number of active jobs. Okay. Waiting for a while. Let's take a look to the clock. 8 o'clock. Okay, let's see. Yes, that's it. As you see here, number of active job 1, full backup schedule is already begin. That's all. Thank you very much for watching uh, this uh, video.